SFB addict here. I had a question on Linux noobs about uh, basically a slideshow, or s some people would call it a screensaver. And uh, basically, they're saying the closest they could find was something called GL Slideshow, but it, uh, it displays random images and had an unsettable location as to where to pull the, the pictures from. That's just not true. And I wrote up a fairly long little uh, reply here. Um, but I thought I'd make a little video of it because it's a question that I see quite a lot. So I'm in uh, Linux Mint XFCE and there's a program here called GL Slideshow. I'm going to move this off to the side so you don't see my pictures because some of them are not uh, kid safe. Okay, so GL Slideshow. Uh, people will see the settings tab or to the right and they'll think that's it. Um, they're forgetting about the Advanced tab. So if they go to Advanced, you have a section here under Image Manipulation where you can choose random images and browse and set a location to pull those pictures from. So let me just uh, change this to a safe folder, which is in screen shots of uh, the character Viper from a movie. And as you can see, there's still the settings here. So you've got your advanced settings. You can also do text manipulation, fading, and power management over here. Then I went back to here under the GL slideshow. You can uh, lock the screen after X minutes. You can blank after X minutes, and you can cycle after whatever number of minutes, and you can go into settings, and you can control a whole bunch of other things like frame rate, the display, panning and zooming, must uh, show at least 50% of it, the pan zoom duration, crossfading, and you can even go down to the advanced button, and if you look up the manual for GL Slideshow, let's see, um, let me read the terminal here. So if you do man GL Slide Show, hope I typed that right, you get a whole bunch of options. And group, draw on the root window. You can do pan. Fade, you need to zoom, and all sorts of different various options that you can put on the command line right here. Now, this also means that you don't have to run this screen saver program. You can just open up a terminal, type in GL Slideshow with all of your options for where to pull the pictures and the uh, switches that you want, and run it directly from terminal or you can put all of it into a, a file and execute that file on launch of, the, of, of Linux kind of thing. But anyway, um, that was the first part of what I wanted to show you. Let me uh, go back here. I'm going to take out this. Put it back to where my previous location was. Now the next thing I wanted to show you was that uh, there's other programs there as well. There's GL Slideshow, that was the one I just showed you. Another screensaver in that uh, list of uh, slideshows is another one called Ripples, which operates in a similar manner. But th there's other programs that uh, can do this as well. For instance, there's XViewer. So if I were to pull over my pictures and I've got these installed. I can open with the uh, image viewer or I can open with other programs. Um, so, um, image viewer is uh, X viewer, if my memory serves. So, if I go under about, it is X viewer. So, here we can go under view and there's an option for slideshow. And if we go under edit, there is preferences and you can go to the slideshow tab. And you can loop it, set the number of seconds, expand, and then there's also plugins. And you can get more of these plugins, and there's one here for shuffling the slideshow. 
So that's one program that you can use to do your your screen slideshow, screen saver. And another one is image magic. Whoops. So uh, let's see. So if you left click on your picture, you get this little menu on the left. And under miscellany, you have an option for slideshow. And under preferences here, there may or may not be something for settings for the slideshow. But again, you can do a slideshow with image magic. And let's see. There's another couple of programs. There's FBI. So this command here, FBI non-verbose dash A dash U dash T six, and then the location, that's a screensaver or picture displayer, whatever you want to call it. And then there's an eye of gnome viewer where you can do it from command line. And, and again, these will all do slideshows. Now, of course, there's uh, other programs like, for instance, Picasa uh, from Google for Linux also has an option for um, slideshows and pics. I didn't show you that one yet. So if I right click and go to pics, it's another picture viewer. And again under view you've got your slideshow. And again under preferences Under viewer, I believe it is. There we go. We have a section here on slideshow where you can change it every seconds, restart when finished, random order, and then there's some extensions you can use, and there's the slideshow extension there. And you can search for other extensions. So, does Linux have a slideshow program that will do random and pan and view? Yes, it does. Several, actually. And you can even write up a little script to do wallpaper backgrounds. Um, now, depending on the distro you have, you'll probably already have a wallpaper changer, um, but I believe I believe it was XFCE back on Mint 14 or something like that. It didn't have the, a random, random changing wallpaper, so I had to do a script for it. And that's what this little script over here does. Um, I no longer need it because under the current um, Mint XFCE there is a way to do wallpapers straight out of the box where you can set your folder and tell it to change the, the background in whatever number of minutes and do your scaling etc. So I no longer need that script. So, but yes, Linux does have many ways of doing slideshows. So that's it for this video.